What's up, fellas? Uh, trying to get this hearse masked up. Um, I went ahead and sanded the primer, didn't video any of that. Um, I'm 85% done. And this one, I've got a bunch of uh, edges that I'm going to have to melt, unfortunately, uh, just because there's so much trim on this car and so many uh, areas that I have to cover. But I was going to show you a little bit of what I'm working on here. So this side of the car, if it wasn't for that guy right there, I would be breaking this off right at that body line down by the where the bumper is glassed onto this car. Instead, we're going to break it on this line right here, and then we're going to follow the trim up and go all the way back. This car has been painted at least twice, um, not by me. On this side, I see sand scratches all over the side of the car, but whatever. So that one's got to be melted up here. So I'm going to scuff along this edge and then put a uh, soft edge piece of tape on there, whether it's transition tape or I do it with masking tape. This side, luckily, I can break it right here. And the way I do these, I'll take a piece of masking tape and draw it across my body line where I want to melt it. And I'll take a piece of 800 or 1,000. Um, you can do it with a scuff pad, like a gray scuff pad, but I like to go just a little bit finer. And then I will stop my first coat of clear short of that and then just have one coat of clear there because this is not going to have any base coat on it. And it's already been cleared. Boy, look at that. Doesn't that look like garbage up there? This may have had solvent melt repairs on it before. Um, again, not by me. The only one I ever did was right here, and you can't even tell I did it. But I'm going to bring you guys along for a little bit of the uh, mascaroni here. Uh, the other place we're going to melt it, and somebody's got a tape line in it there, and somebody's got a tape line in it there. I melted it somewhere in the middle of this last time. This is just piss poor right here. <laughs> as well as right there. You can see the like white line on top of that and none of that's from me but I can't fix it but it's been solvent melted way up into here. And you can see it looks like uh, it's all dull and it's got spots in it. I can see a fish eye they painted over right there. It's awesome. So the way I'm going to do this um, it's got that plastic applique right here. I'm going to put you guys up on the stand and just have a short little chat while I mask this up. So basically, I'm going to mask this applique and the door together. And then I will, well, I will see. I'm going to put a piece of paper that goes from the taillight opening over this and just let it hang. That way I don't get overspray on that corner or this corner because I'm going to break it down close to the bumper. So I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I know I've got some videos up now. Um, I still have internet problems at home, so uh, still having to go somewhere else to upload. Um, it's not that I'm making not making videos, it's that I just don't have the ability to do it at home and just let one go once I edit it up. I can usually edit them up quick, but it just sucks, you know, get home and then have to go somewhere else after I get it edited to set it to upload. So I'll do what I can for you guys. Um, and I want to get some vids up. Anyhow. I wish I could do one a day. Um, which I have content to do it. I just don't have the time to get the upload started. And I've been doing it at my wife's office, which is what I did last winter. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm masking this door kind of separate. It's just, there's so much stuff that doesn't come off of this car and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. I'm gonna take the plastic and I think the plastic will just reach this. Yeah, that'll work just marvelous. So we we'll pull the plastic, I didn't have it too short over here. We may have to put another piece of paper up here. But I have a lot of edges that are back taped just to make 
this work, then taking the door separate isn't, I'm not doing that because I have to swing the door. I'm doing it so that I can have an easy piece of paper to remove. When I get ready to spray my fade out reducer on those edges. Kind of out of practice for masking, too. This is, uh, I probably got over an hour in this car already, maybe two hours in it. I started. And then realized I was out of masking tape. So I went and spent about 75 bucks and got a couple sleeves of masking tape. I don't like to keep it too long because even if you store it in a protected area, it still sort of goes bad, if that makes sense. You can put it in the microwave and heat it up and make it work again. But ends up being a real pain in the ass, especially when you got a couple hundred dollars worth of masking tape laying around. I usually buy a dozen rolls at a time. And I thought I was buying cheap masking tape. This is um, American masking tape, uh, the PG level. It's tan, but it's their top of the line, and I thought it was cheap stuff. That's why I was buying it. I thought it was pretty good for cheap stuff, but it's not cheap stuff. So from here, I'm probably going to mask this off. I've been watching a lot of your guys' videos. Um, I bet I've been watching them on my phone. See what I'm doing? It's a little darker over here, but we'll give her a go. I'm gonna put paper up on this top edge and then I'll back match that wheel opening. We'll call her happy. Also going. 
going to go up around the edge of this trim and then just put a piece of paper that goes to my soft edge here and you'll see that here in a second. probably see it there toward where it bends to go up on the left side it crisscrosses itself so it's not straight that's why I opted to burn it off I have more of that pinstripe because I've painted these cars before so not really a huge deal I know some of you guys despise this type of video and others like it um, so I apologize for those of you who hate these long, somewhat boring videos. But if you can pick up a little trick here or there, I know it, that's why I want to get the GoPro so you guys can see first person point of view on this kind of stuff. Because you can explain it all day long. And I had to watch a lot of videos to even pick up some of the tricks that I have.
Okay, that's as good as that's going to get. I even There's a chrome applique on the bottom. i got to mask that stupid thing off, but I'm not going to make you watch me do that. I guess what I'm going to do next is show you how I prep one of these edges to do a melt across it. Probably a million different ways to do it. Scuff pad and some uh, scuff paste. 1500, 1000 grit. I don't want too fine of a scratch on it because I want to make sure it adheres because if I have to buff it at all, it will not be good if it comes loose. Because I've had it happen before when I was first doing these. Okay, that piece of tape is for nothing more than just a guideline for me to run my scuff pad along. This is uh, Eagle Abrasives 800 grit. And I'll sand right up to that tape. tape, fold an edge over like that, uh, let's see if I can do this, have you guys see what I'm doing, basically put your thumb to help the edge roll over and you're going to drag it across your leg, I happen to have a cell phone in my pocket, so that helps. So that actually helps it crease. Some people pull off a piece of tape and tape another piece to it, which I've done before. But basically, that's what you have. So you have sticky side to sticky side on this. piece of paper over that right up until the moment that I put that last coat of clear on. So there's that piece of tape and you might have to monkey with it to get it to sit the way you want it to sit but you don't want that edge touching the body. You don't want a big gap either. Maybe just a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, it's sticking up a little bit but you guys get the idea. You want it to set just off of that edge so as the and spray straight on it or spray down on it don't spray up because then the clear will go underneath it and then use your edge blender if i get a chance to do a video on this car when i'm painting it um, i'll try and remember to show that so hope you guys enjoyed and uh, that'll be it for now see ya